triangular prisms. Now, the most famous triangular prism that you'll come across in real life is probably the most delicious triangular prism that you'll come across in real life, which is the Toblerone, a nice bit of chocolate there. Um, so while you're doing these questions, if you just think of Toblerones, and I'm sure that the time will pass really quickly and you'll get them right as well. Okay, um, we're going to look at how we work out the volume of chocolate or triangular prism that uh, we've got uh, using these formulas here. Now prism, we've done prisms in other um, lessons such as cylinders and cuboids. So the triangular prism formula or prism formula is the cross-sectional area, that's this face here, times by the length of it goes back. Now, in the um, case of a triangular prism, you've guessed it, the area is going to be a triangle. So what we've got to do first of all is we've got to work out the area of that triangle. Now, area of a triangle, remembering, is a half base times height, or you times your base and your height together, and then you halve your answer. So the base is three and the height is four. Now this five centimeters here is actually a red herring. Sometimes you might see them put, uh, put there just to confuse you. So we can actually get rid of this five centimeters because it's there to trap you and it's got absolutely nothing to do with the question. So eliminate it, get rid of it. So working on here, we've got to work out the, um, the area so the base times the height, the base times the height divided by two. That's the area of that triangular prism there. And that's going to be four or three, let's do it in, in proper order, shall we? The three times by four uh, divided by two, which gives us an answer of 12. So the area of that triangle is 12. So to work out the volume of the triangular prism, now we've got our cross-sectional area here, is we've got to times it by the length that it goes back. Uh, sometimes it's, it's used as a height. We'll keep it as a length for this question here. So it's the, the area times that length there. And the length that we've got in the question today is eight. So we do times, times, times. Um, that's going to be length there. That's going to be eight and eight. So we're left with a sum of 12 times eight to work out the volume of this prism. So 12 eighths then, going to be 96. Uh, units, as it's a volume unit, it's going to be centimetres cubed. So that is how you work out the volume of a triangular prism.